Welcome, this is Sig Taylor with Fish Out Loud. Hey, before I begin and show you a, a new technique that not, I did not only develop, um, but um, I think I perfected it a little bit better um, than when I first heard about it, but um, I'd like to take a moment out and say thank you very much for um, taking a look and watching um, Fish Out Loud here. Um, my whole intention is to always see what can we do a little bit different to coax those fish into biting our hook, setting the hook, and you being able to um, catch your personal best. Uh, that's what I'm here for. So I just want to say thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know, hit subscribe. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. And I just love um, thinking of new techniques to come out with. Um, and not only um, thinking about them, but um, you know, getting them to where they're, again, perfected a little bit better. So um, today I'm going to be talking about, on Tackle Tip Tuesday here, is the free rig. And I first saw uh, my two young friends from South Africa, uh, Calvin and um, <clears throat> Jason, when they were down here fishing the uh, Bassmaster uh, Team World Championship here on the Harris chain. Uh, we were pre-fishing on another lake off the chain and they were throwing this and I said, well, that looks interesting. Um, I had thought about it years ago doing it and I just never did it. And um, I said, well, where'd you get that idea? He says, well, some of the pros are starting to use this technique. So it kind of caught my attention. And then I, um, just by chance, found some sinkers that I've had laying around and I sent Jason a real quick message. Hey, did you feel that the free rig caught more fish than the Texas rig? And he replied back to me, he goes, no, I didn't really see a difference, okay? Um, so that was quite interesting. Uh, so I went ahead and started been throwing this basically and trying to get it down a little bit better to where I feel that um, it may not necessarily catch more fish, but I think it moves through structure, the bottom a lot easier than your Rex, than your um, Texas rig. I'm gonna, in a second here, I'm gonna explain why. So stay tuned, here we go. Okay, here we go. Now the free weight, what I like about it is, um, I am using what I have some leftover teardrop sinkers that I found. Um, I have eighth ounce, quarter ounce, three sixteenths. And I really like the fact that of the, I think the important and what makes this so great is the hole. It's so big. You can just slide up there with such ease. Um, I have these Jetro bait, Snugget bait protection cones, okay, that I've had. And I find that this works really good because when this hits upon the plastic cone, it doesn't hit amongst the worm and knock the worm off the hook for some reason. So I like this. I'm also gonna be using some powder paint and I'm gonna be dipping these in there and I'm getting a nice coat of black on there. So see how that slides so nice and even? And, and they're coming out, they're starting to come out with some free weights, but they all look kind of like the small hole that's in this Texas rig, okay? And one of the things about the Texas rig that I have problems with, and you guys may too, is that this thing gets dug into things um, and is not as easily, doesn't easily as come out. I've noticed that when I'm using the free weight, and by the way, I, I use the free weight pretty much exclusively now, is it doesn't get stuck as much into things. So it, it works its way through grass easily. It works its way through rock, gravel, you know, shell beds, and also trees, bushes, things like that. So I found that it just works its way easier where a uh, bullet weight in the Texas rig may dig down into it a lot easier. So I hope that helps, guys. Remember, um, give it a try. You'll probably see there are times during the year that this will outperform the old Texas rig. Okay, remember, you're just one cast away.